So, let us try to mathematically um, uh, rigorously try to understand what is happening here. What I will do is firstly, I will develop the uh, necessary machineries. We will assume there is a complete graph, a graph on n nodes, let us say some 20 nodes and you put edges between any two people, 20 choose two edges. Now, there are some plus and there are some minus relationships, I put that too. Is this structurally balanced? Maybe not. You see, there is a, a minus 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 triangle, there is also a, a plus plus minus triangle. This is not structurally balanced, but what if it was structurally balanced? Let us see, let me now think of an example where, where a given uh, graph is structurally balanced, how will it look like? This is an example of a, a graph that is structurally balanced, see how it looks like. Obviously, all of them are plus, I know this is structurally balanced, what is so great about this? Is there any graph with negative edges as well that is structurally balanced? Let me think of finding one. As I keep trying, I converge to only a structure like this. Do you see? There are two clusters and edges inside these clusters are positive and edges across are negative. Basically, there are two teams here. Two teams means what? Within the team, the relationship is positive, right? You, you see that in the figure? Relationships between two people inside the team is positive, relationships between two people across the team is negative. This is structurally balanced, why? Let me take a triangle here. A triangle here is either positive, positive, positive as you observe or a positive, negative, negative, correct? Can you find a triangle here which has a positive, positive, negative? Plain impossible, just observe. Can you give me a triangle here which is negative, negative, negative? No, impossible, which means looks like this is structurally balanced. So, when you have one team full of positivity, structurally balanced, when you have two teams where positivity is within, negativity is across structurally balanced, some basic obs uh, observation that you did, this is structurally balanced. Now, if I give you a graph G and call it structurally balanced, how will it look like? Will it look like all positives or only two teams with positives inside, negatives across? Is there a third type? So, we prove that there is no third type, There's, there are only these two types, the type 1 where there is only one team, the type 2 where there are two teams and period, nothing else can happen. So, here is the theorem which states, these are the only two possible structures when you say a given network is structurally balanced. Let me, let us try proving this now with, uh, with, uh, with, 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 uh, with good amount of rigor. How do we go about it? Let me take a given graph G with many nodes, let us say 100 nodes and I pick one node from uh, this network. As you know, in this graph with 100 nodes, there are edges across any two nodes and there is a sign for every single edge, plus or minus. As you can observe, let me pick some node here, call it um, um, let us say x, node x. x is adjacent to 99 other nodes, some of them positive, some of them negative. Let me say, <coughs> sorry, roughly 70 of them is positive and 29 of them are negative, 70 are positive, 
29 of them are negative. Now, isn't it obvious that this vertex x is friends with positive edges and the, in, the encompassing triangle on these edges as you can see x a b this triangle a b cannot be negative because I told you it is structurally balanced correct. Now, look at this side x alpha beta x to alpha uh, negative x to beta negative. Now, what can be the edge between alpha and beta? It has to be positive because it is structurally balanced correct. Think about it. This vertex x if it is adjacent to two people positively the relationship between these two people as I told you in the example a and b should be positive. If the vertex x is adjacent to alpha and beta and x alpha is negative x beta is negative and what should be between alpha and beta enemy is enemy right it should be positive. So, I observe that when you pick an element x and look at all its friends which are positive and all its friends which are which are negative you observe that amongst the positive friends of x relationships are all positive amongst the negative friends of x relationships are all positive. But if you pick a friend a of x and a friend alpha of x x a is positive x alpha is negative then what is the relationship between a and alpha one positive one negative which means a and alpha should be negative very straightforward. So, what do I gather all the friends that x is adjacent with they are friends with each other with positive friendship all the all the uh, people that x is adjacent to with negative friendship negative relationship they are all friends with each other which means there are two clusters here what are those two clusters the clusters x and all his friends they are all positive within and all the negative friends of x they are all positive within but negative across as simple as that that closes the theorem. So, the theorem just states that in case you have a structurally balanced network it better be type 1 all positive friendships within there is only one team type 2 there are precisely two teams where friendships within them is positive friendships across is negative.